Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it you're studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time they are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Being able to uh, simplify uh, such a question that is um, given on logarithms is very important for your mathematics N1. Now, let us look at this question. It says laws of logarithms and it says uh, use logarithms with base 10 in this case to determine the value of X. And then it says show all the calculations. So now they are saying we are supposed, number one, to use logarithms to simplify that, which means if you do not use logarithms and you use other methods, you're going to be penalized. And then they give you a base, uh, the base 10, and then you are to use that to find the value of X and they emphasized show all the calculations. Now, the strategy that I usually use when it comes to this uh, kind of um, a, a challenge or a problem, what I do is first thing I take my calculator and what I do is I find the, the calculator answer for that. Remember, I'm using the calculator just to find the answer and then I work toward that particular answer. So now if I do that, it will be square root. It's a fraction. You must be able to to know how to uh, enter that in the calculator is 19.34 all over 7.41 play forward times 9.87 so you can follow the steps that i was doing with the calculator to punch that and then you can see the answer is 5.8577 so it's 5.8578 to three decimal places. Usually you must leave your answer to three decimal places. So it's eight is 5.858, which is 5.8577, which is eight to three decimal places. Now, the key is for me to work towards this particular answer. Now, remember, I'm supposed to use logarithms. So the first thing I do is for me to say, let log x be equal to what I do on the left, I must do on the right. So it to be log which is square root of 19.34 over 7.41 times 9.87. So this is what I have done. I have just introduced log on the other side and log on the other side. They say um, use base 10. Now the fact that I just said log x, it means by default there is a base 10 there and by default there is a base 10 there. So you, you, it's not a must to mention the base 10. You can leave it out because it is known that log uh, x, the base that is by default, you will be working in, in base 10. If you want, you can continue to be writing log base 10 of x, log base 10 of that. But it is not a must. The next thing you need to do, remember, we still maintain our log x. The key things are on the right hand side. Now, what I need you to notice, number one, we have a division sign. So we have a division sign 
and number two, which is your number one, and number two, we have a multiplication sign. So it is important for you to know the laws of logarithms concerning division. It says if you are given log in base of a of x over y is equal to log in base of a of x because of this division remember x over so it becomes minus log in base of a of y secondly if you're giving a multiplication sign it says if you're given log base of x in base a x times y or xy is equal to log in base a of x now the times becomes a plus log in base b of y so there is the part the division sign is the subtraction sign the multiplication sign is the addition sign so this is what you need to always remember so then with that in mind if i can just now do it a little bit lower so given that in mind i'll be then having log x remember the base is 10 is equal to now the division then will become log square root of 19.34 remember the division then becomes minus log 7.41 and the times become plus log 9.87 that's basically what the two, the division as well as the multiplication mean in that case. So this, I can continue with log x, but just to write on the right hand side. Now the next thing is to understand the square root means it is the same as saying log 19.34 and then this to the power of 1 over 2 are you understanding that now so that i don't waste time what i want to do in this case if i can just do it on the side for you to say you must remember if they say log square root of 19.34 this is same as log 19.34 to the power of 1 over 2. Now this particular power, what it does is in this particular part, that power will come to before. So this will then become 1 over 2 log 19.34. I'm using also um, a law of logarithms whereby the power will drop there so if i can then write on my side here it will be 1 over 2 log 19.34 minus log 7.41 plus log 9.87 then at this stage i can use my calculator and have that half now I, i'll be using my calculator for the logs remember it said i must show all the steps usually i leave my answer to five decimal places so the first one is log you can use that log or you can use that log to the power of 10 it's it's the same thing i can still use that log 19 because already it is it is to the power 10 19.34 as i said i want to keep my answer to five decimal places so it will be 28645 which is 66 in this case because if i'm rounding off is 286 is 1.28655 and then minus Okay, and just to verify if I did correctly, that is correct. And then log 7.41 in this case. 
it will be 0 0.86981 so it's 86981 again just to verify that is correct and the last one is as i said you can actually choose to use that say and say log base 10 when you put that 9.87 it's 9.87 because it's one and the same thing then you get 994317 which is 99432 again to verify 0 0.99432 now when you have done that what you need to do is for you to uh, find the final answer to that so what i'll do then i'll have 1 over 2 bracket 1 comma 2 8 6 5 5 minus 0 comma 8 6 981 plus 0 0.99432 so when i've done that i'm getting 0 0.767785 so it's 767785 767 85 verify my answer again i have got 767785 so with that i'm continuing then with my solution and then what do i have remember this is still my log x now finally this is how i write my final answer remember again we still uh, mentioned that this is base 10 so what you do then, you are going to say x is equal to 10 to the power of 0 0.767785 and then you will have then your x is equal to and then you will have your 10 to the power 0 0.76 seven seven eight five then you find your final answer is five comma eight uh to three decimal places it will be five comma eight five eight this is five comma eight five eight so this is my answer for the value of x that i'm getting now remember we said you must first check what you got uh in the beginning when you used your calculator, if you still remember, there we got our 5,858. And also our final answer again, what did we get? We got our 5,858, which means we have used logarithms to find the value of x. And in that case, you are able to mark yourself correct. So when they said show all the working they meant you need to tell us how you got from here you move there from that you do that from that you go there and then after that you they were only also looking at the signs the plus using when you input the logarithms there is very important for those signs and then after that they wanted that statement and then after that the addition of that statement and finally that and sometimes it is five marks that you can get that in the final exam now i hope this was beneficial for you check out the next lesson i hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you and as i said if you benefited from the video you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below and if you want to be notified of these videos you can always uh, subscribe to our channel now if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics if you're studying for mathematics n1 n2 or n3 and you want the test book as well as the videos we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics n1 n2 n3 as well as the accompanying videos we also have videos 
of the previous question papers, the latest papers that were written in video form. These question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams. We also have PDF version of the previous question papers that were, that were written since 2014 until now. And if you want them, you can check all the information from our website and trust me, these will become very handy to you. Uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try. Thank you.